Good day, everybody, and today we're going to learn about f a math concept called factors. Everybody just go ahead and say factors for me. Factors. That's great. So, we today are going to learn what factors are. So, here we go. First of all, we are going to go ahead and start with what is a factor. So, let's go ahead and start with a basic definition. So, a factor is a whole number that divides equally into another number. Okay, great. So let's break this apart. So first let's look at the word whole. A whole number is a number that's whole, like 1, 2, 4, 8. Those are whole numbers. 3.5, 3 and 5 tenths, not a whole number because it's not whole. Right? There's a part there. So it's a whole number that can divide. All right, divide means that we can break it apart. So it's a whole number that we break apart equally equally okay they have the groups we divide it equally the groups have to be the same the same so a whole number that divides equally into another number hmm let's take a look and go ahead and see what that may look like okay so again still that question what is a factor so it's a whole number okay so it's a whole number like 4 Okay, one, two, three, four, and we can divide it. Okay, I can divide it equally. All right, so let's divide four equally. Okay, put two over there, put two over there. So I have two groups of two. So four, okay, two groups of two. So here I can see, okay, it's a, a whole number like four. Here's the whole number four, and it's divided equally. So one factor of four is two, and another factor of 4 is 2. All right. Hmm. Okay, let's, let's look at that a little bit more. So here we have 4 again, and we're dividing it equally. Oh, and we're dividing it equally. How? 1. So 1 in each group. So let's see here. I have 1, and each group is 4. So again, a factor. So a factor... A 4 is 1 because it can be divided equally, okay, into 1s, and there's 4 groups of them. So 4 is also a factor. All right, so let's kind of look at that and dig a little deeper into factors. So, for example, let's take a look at the whole number 8. All right, it's a whole number, and we can divide it equally. Okay, I'm going to divide it equally into groups of 4. Okay, so there's group in each group there's four. There's two groups. So one factor of eight is two. So two's a factor of eight. And another factor of eight is four because it can be divided equally into two groups of four. Hmm, okay, that makes sense that these are both factors. Now let's look at the number six. Six is a whole number, okay. And wait, wait a minute. This is, I'm dividing it, but it's not equal. So, this is not, 1 and 5 are not factors of 6. Wait, but if I change it, okay, oh, 6 can be divided into, let's see here, 2, 2, and 2. So, we divided it equally into 3 groups, and in each group, so there's 3 groups there, and in each group there's 2, so 3 is a factor of 6, and 2 is a factor of 6. So again, let's take a look at that definition. What is a factor again? So a factor is a whole number, like 4 or 6 or 8, and that whole number can be divided, broken apart equally, into the same sizes, into another number. So we saw here, again, just a quick review. Some factors of 4 were 2 and 2. And another factor of 4 is 1 and 1 because we could break that number equally into those groups. And we saw here again that with 8, we had the factors of 2 
and 4, because 8 can be divided into two groups of 4, and 6, one way to do it is to take 6 and divide it into three groups of 2. So again, what is a factor? A factor is a whole number that divides equally into another number. So hopefully that gives you a little bit better understanding of what a factor is. Thanks for watching, and remember you can replay this as many times as you would like. Also, feel free to check out other videos that may help you learning a, about what a factor is. Thanks for watching.